Well, hello, everyone. Um, how is everyone doing today? Not much has been going on here. Uh, my kittens have been driving me crazy. <laughs> they just, they want love 24-7, unless they're sleeping or eating or pooping. Because <laughs> that's all they do. They, they sleep, eat, and poop. And then they want to just lay all over me and be petted, and they just they just are or spoiled rotten. Um, right now, I'm lucky because they're they're doing something else. So while they're gone, I'm gonna try to get through this without interruptions. Okay. First of all, before we get into it, I'm going to do the drawing now. A lot of you on the list have already won a drawing so far this year for the full readings, all of them. So uh, I took your name off to give everyone a fair shot. And, you know, after I've read everyone else, uh, that's, you know, if, if, I, if I get to read everyone else or whatever, when that time comes, I'll put you all back in the, the running and in the list and you know, we'll, we'll give you all a second shot. But until then, um, I'd like to give, in all fairness, to give everyone a, a full reading that, uh, you know, hasn't had one yet. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. I'm going to try to share this with you all. On, and I say this every time, and I never have figured it out yet, but I'm going to try. So, uh, in case it doesn't work, I tape it on the camera. So, here it goes. Okay, let me hit, uh, if y'all can't see this, on the split screen. Here we go. I'm going to hit, uh... Where am I at? There I am. I'm going to click on the wheel. And there's the names entered. And if y'all can't see, there, there you are on the wheel. Okay. Click. Good luck, everyone. Let's see who's the winner. Shrimp Shack. Yay! It's Shrimp Shack. All right, congratulations, Shrimp Shack. You're going to get one of each cut type of reading. Um, free. Like always, everything's free. Shrimp Shack is the winner, and I, I'm glad I was fearing I wouldn't be able to say that name because I was trying to say it earlier, and I could not get through it. It's like a tongue twister. Shrimp Shack. Okay. So, uh, without further ado, let me get started. And you gotta do the same bowl. Bring luck and positivity and
Okay. Singing bowl. It's a Tibetan singing bowl. In case you're new here, a few of you are, or at least one I know of offhand. Um, okay, I'm going to start with Megan, who asked for a Moonology card. I'm sorry. Shrimp Shack, not Megan, sorry Megan. Shrimp Shack wanted a Moonology card. Megan's going, what? <laughs> so, Moonology, I'm a... Moonology. Shrimp Shack, uh, yeah, you're going to have to watch the full video because your, your reading's going to be all throughout the, the video. Mixed in with everyone else. Okay, I'm, I'm shuffling them up for you. And now if I was live when I do these readings, y'all would get just one card. But because I'm taping this ahead of time, everyone gets three. So Shrimp Shack, you have. That's Full Moon and Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Nothing yet is set in stone. That's the mutable moon. And this, they're sticking, no, they're not sticking together. Okay. Last one. Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. Some of these I just never heard of before. Mutable moon, North Node. But here we, here we go. Uh, full moon and Capricorn. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. How hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you are wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a tough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to reality, to face reality, excuse me. Whether situa whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Attune to the moon. Release control and trust the universe. A professional project may be ending now. Admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. Find a balance between your personal and private lives. It's time to stop fearing the worst. Full Moon in Capricorn has a very strong work ethic and energy and will be more likely to come up when you're asking about a professional question. If your question is about another matter, it will serve as much needed reminder to move through any feelings of hopelessness you may have been feeling about your situation. I'll, and this applies no matter when you draw the card. Making a plan is far better use of your time. Okay, Mutable Moon. Um, hmm. Where are you at? Mutable Moon. Uh, okay. 
Mutable is all about change, shape-shifting, even something that is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing and there's room for maneuver. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course or the outcome. Change, it seems, is a big issue on these two cards. Um, where was I at? Um, okay, here we go. However, there is also a sense that the situation could be perhaps a little unstable. For some, this is a great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone. Uh, I know that the best will unfold for me. You're meandering towards your goal, and that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you are not led astray. Have you become detached? Time to focus. Stay with it, whatever it means to you. In astrology, there are three so-called mutable quadruplices, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The mutable signs are Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces, and that's when the moon is in one of these signs. You know there's going to be more flexibility in a situation. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests that there, the opportunity to visualize and affirming what you want, as there's still room for change. So think about what you want and enjoy the daydream. Okay, and last is step out of your comfort zone. North Node. Um, oh, last one. Okay. Step out of your com uh, comfort zone. There's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you're headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've been asking about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction, to take action. So you are you willing to follow through and leave your lead your life? Lead the life you in, in incarnated, excuse me, to live. If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? I know I'm headed in the right direction. You're headed for something which feels like destiny. You need to face a fear and get over it. Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet. You've got this. The North Node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point and on the horoscope chart, chart shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our lives to find satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The North Node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us, to paraphrase Andre Gide, that in order to discover new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. Okay. So there, uh, Shrimp Shack, uh, this is definitely about travel, well, not travel, but moving ahead. Change. Change is the big thing. And don't be afraid to do it. You know, it's it's in the cards. You know, things haven't been so good in the past. Time to change. And it's going to be good. Time to meet your destiny. All right. All right. Next we have Rain, who won it. The Archangel cards. So let's see what they have to say for you, Rain. Got to shuffle them good here.
All right, Rain, here are your three cards. Clear cognizance. The Archangel Uriel says, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Career transition. Your life purpose is triggered a blessing career change. That's the Archangel Chamuel. Chamuel. Comfort. The Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. And that might have a particular impact on on your situation, Rain. Um, anyway, let me go through these clear cognizance. It says, you've prayed for answers, and they've come through to you in the form of repetitive thoughts, telling you to take steps and make healthy changes. Don't discount your thoughts, or think that they're just dreams or common knowledge. Your thoughts are tuned to high frequencies right now, and are trustworthy inspirations. All great inventions, new businesses, and teachings stem from this same universal source of wisdom. You're tapped into that divine wisdom right now, and it's important to notice and record your thoughts. Then act upon these answers to your prayers. Uriel's name means the light of God. He's known for his special abilities to enlighten our minds with divine inspiration. Anytime you need answers or insights, call upon Uriel. He, he answers anyone who calls upon him. You'll know that Uriel has answered when you have repetitive thoughts or ideas that are positive, loving, and helpful. If you need facts in a hurry, such as during a test or, or important meeting, Uriel will supply you with the information. After you ask him for help, the answer will pop into your mind. Trust the information that he supplies. Now, uh, career transition. Okay, this says, you've prayed for help with your career and now it's occurring. Sometimes change is perceived as stressful, yet I'm helping to clear the old from your life to make room for the new. Pay clo close attention to your repetitive ideas, dreams, and visions, as these are divinely inspired roadmaps pointing the way along your desired path. You may not see the entire road or where it's leading, but each step will be lit along the way. Chamuel's name means he who sees God. His ability to see clearly helps us find things, situations, and people. He's renowned for helping people find the best careers suited to their purpose and passions. Call upon Chamuel as your career counselor often. And lastly, we have comfort. Even the strongest person experiences upsetting situations, and there's no shame in taking time to heal your heart. This is a good time for quiet reflection upon your true feelings. Write them down in a private journal, then call upon me to bring comfort to your heart and mind. I can help you sleep better at night and put your mind at ease. That's the Archangel Azrael. Azrael's aura is a beautiful shade of vanilla cream, a very pale yellow tone. He surrounds grieving and dying persons with this loving light to bring them comfort. When Azrael is around, you may see egg shell collared, twinkling lights in the room. The crystal creamy yellow calcite is calibrated to Azrael's energy, so holding or wearing this crystal, crystal may lend additional comfort. So you might want to get yourself some calcite if you don't have any rain. 
All right. I'm not sure about this uh, changing trends, uh, changing careers. I don't know if that's what you need right now, but I'm sure this one, this last one was definitely, um, I think might help find you some peace with your grieving. Okay. There you go, Rain. All right, Nat. Whispers of love. Let's see what you get. Okay. That's receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Next, romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. And... Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Um, and I'm sorry, Shrimp Shack and Rain. I should have showed you the cards better. But uh, I won't make that mistake again. There you go, Nat. That's uh, received with love and appreciation. Romance. And has two people dancing. And be the in the present and dream of the future. And there's that card. Here we go. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious accept acceptance is a way to show love. Being courteous when someone gives you something is a simple consideration. The angels encourage you to graciously receive as an act of kindness. Allow someone to express love by accepting what they want to do for or give to you. Being appreciative expresses your feelings through action. Extend your gratitude by saying a heartfelt thank you to those who take the time to help you. Showing appreciation is good manners. It demonstrates your respect for someone's time, knowledge, energy, or assistance and that you truly realize what has been given to you. Open gratitude connects you to the giver in deeper way. A sincere appreciation of people and their role in your life creates a mutual connection. A nature sprite gently catches a snowflake in her hand. What's this card? Um, snowflakes re reflect a need for gentleness. You might interpret a snowflake as a message from heaven. The doves around the sprite's head are confirmation that you feel and intuition are connected to your divine guidance. You can expand this guidance by willingly expressing your appreciation. This is a, so a signal that you are open to receiving further guidance. Once you do this, your blessings will be limitless. limitless. Okay, romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Quality time is needed, whether you are in or between relationships. Do something special that adds romance to your life. 
if you are single, it's important to do something for you. What do you consider romantic? Is it an intimate meal or flowers given or received? If you are in a relationship, do something for your special person. If you are single, buy flowers for yourself. Take a candlelit bath or pamper yourself with your favorite cream or lotion. As you treat yourself, imagine how happy you feel if you're as if you're not doing this just for yourself, but for a special someone in your life. The pict picturesque mermaid. Oh, that's a mermaid. A guy is dancing with a mermaid. Okay. The picturesque mermaid dances with her partner. They only have eyes for each other. It is, it is important to pri prioritize yourself and your relationship. Try to make romantic romance a consistent practice. It may not sound romantic to schedule dates with someone once or twice a month, but it will benefit you in more ways than you realize. And the last one is be in the present and dream in the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Avoid dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. Everyone has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to the future. Set goals, dream big, and create. By doing this, you will eliminate the need to revisit the past. Having a goal helps you to focus on what is important. Setting a goal for a one-year time frame is a simple way to live in the present. What would you like to do or be doing or achieve this time next year? Make it an attainable task and work on your dream every year every day excuse me once you have committed to your goal you will find you are more easily able to reach it work consistently toward your dream and you will make steady progress and achieve it much quicker a woman sets oh there she is i didn't see her a woman sets beneath the beneath the nighttime sky the pyramids and crystal castle behind her represent ideals from the past the structures refer to the past and the things that you brought that brought you to this point. The stars in the sky symbolize the higher power that guides you. Humans are made of the same energy that makes the stars. You have light inside you. Shine into the darkness and create your dreams. Okay, there you go, Nat. I thought that was a nice one. Okay, next up we have the Wiccan runes, and we have uh, Bridget and Sherry, both ones one reading. I'm shaking them up. Good. Okay, folks, I'm relighting the incense first, if I can get it going. There's some uh, Palo Santo wood. That'll help. Okay, I'll just let that burn. That ought to be okay. Okay, um, there we go. Don't mind my squeaky chair, y'all. All right. Let me uh, see. It was Sherry and Bridget. So I'll do. Uh, I'll do Bridget. Bridget, you got you got these.
first of all, this is uh, the symbol of man. It might represent a man in your life. Um, it represents positivity. Uh, it represents uh, active dynamic energies often associated with masculinity. Um, actions may be decisive but reckless. Uh, it represents a quick and just outcome and sometimes has an element of surprise. Something new may be initiated and it's time to come up with a strategy to achieve your goal. Next over is a symbol for woman. Um, it's a negative sign, a negative rune, it, but it represents the passive receptive energies that are often categorized as feminine. It can also represent a literal woman pertaining to the situation. It could be you, it could be another uh, female in your life. It can represent a literal um, characteristic that includes... Um, like nurturing, creativity, the beginning of something new, uh, cleansing energy. All right, Bridget, this is me. Um, I'm editing right now, and I'm sorry I made a big mistake, and I skipped the third one over. Uh, so here is the third rune over, and it's the wave. It can refer directly to the ocean, but it can also mean land of the dead, purification, water, emotions, healing, change, creation, destruction, nourishment, travel, birds, and communication. Also messages from the other side, soaring at great heights, fast moving, and news. Think of water is not always clear and waves are often obscuring the depths. Roiling the waters represent, represents the uncontrollable waves of emotions. The land of the dead lies beyond a body of water and many myths. Remember, it's a negative sign. Things are unclear, so a time of reflection is needed to see the situation for what it truly is. There may be a liar in your life or somebody who is completely delusional. Great spiritual forces of mystery are at work and so you may feel pushed and pulled by these powerful energies. Misunderstandings become emotional. Great art can come from great angst. Spirits and ancestors may be influencing you. So, there you have it, Bridget. Sorry again, and I'll continue on from where I left off. Next up, uh, this is uh, it's like a planter with a flower coming out the top. It means harvest. This is a positive rune. It represents the fruitation of a job well done. So apparently whatever creativity goes on here, it's gonna turn out well. Um, yeah, there's abundant wealth, family happiness, or reaching the next level of development in the situation at hand. All your hard work will be mightily rewarded. Make no mistake, though, that all good things take time to develop. Don't rush ahead foolishly or slack off. Um, next up, we have romance. It's a negative one, surprisingly. Though, um, it means passion has turned into obsession. Sex and romance are afoot. Diverse people are brought together in one union, and so squabbling is natural. Um, people who once had diverging views are now attempting reconciliation, but there may be spite or jaded attitudes all around. There's a raw magnetic attraction that draws people together. Next up is the sun, and that's a positive rune. It means huge manifestations are coming, powerful, unstoppable, masculine energy um, is in play. Plenty of attention is being paid to you. Overwhelming growth is happening. So wow, things are on the mood on the move there coming up here for you. Bridget. And finally we have the moon. Now the moon is a negative energy. 
But uh, past cycles are repeating themselves. However, pay attention to your intuition. Your dreams may have special messages for you during this time. There may be much secrecy and mystery going on. The moon can be a motherly, nurturing influence who gives advice that simply must be followed. Okay, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, overall, there's a variance of masculine and feminine energies in the beginning and end of this reading. Um, and there's a romance, so it might be between uh, you and your your partner. Um, I'm not sure what's what the situation is exactly in your life, but uh, that's what they mean. All right, Bridget. Next, we have Sherry. I shake these up good. Don't want to get the same ones as Bridget. Oh, that one popped out and it's blank. Okay. Some of the same ones. Some are different. So, Sherry, um, this is the uh, feminine one. It's a negative rune. I don't know why. Um, it represents the passive, receptive energies uh, that are categorized as female. Um, it represents a literal woman perceiving, pertaining to the situation where it could be you, perhaps, or another female in your life. Um, it, it represents other feminine characteristics like nurturing, creativity, uh, the beginning of something new, and a cleaning energy, a cleansing energy. Uh, this is romance. Uh, it's a negative one also. Boy, this isn't starting out very good. <laughs> it is, but it isn't. Um, passion has turned into obsession. Sex and romance are afoot. Diverse people are brought together in one union, so squabbling is natural. People who once had diverging views are now attempting reconciliation. But there may be spite or jaded attitudes all around. There is a raw magnetic attraction that draws people together. Next up. Now a word from our sponsors. Oh, jeez. We are being interrupted. Excuse me. We are being interrupted. A kitty cat just crawled into my lap. This is Hoppy. Say hi, Hoppy. Look up. Look up, Hoppy. Okay, what she get? She don't want to look up. This is Hoppy. She's the bigger one of the two. The other one is just about half her size. It's amazing. I don't know why. But, okay, come on, Hoppy. I call her Hoppy because I know it's not a great name for a cat, a female cat especially. But I think it's female. I'm not positive yet. They're still young. But she hops a lot. When she plays, she hops sideways. It's funny. Sorry for that interruption, Sherry. Okay, back to it. Um, let's see. Uh. I, I'm getting to this one. Okay. Uh, okay. This, this is a symbol of rings. And um, it's an unbreakable bond between two things. It might be between you and a partner here. You have an unbreakable bond. It's a positive rune. Uh, 
says you can't do it alone, so form the right and last thing alliance. There may be a business partnership, a marriage, or other team formation. And seek out a partnership if none exists in the matter at hand. So it, it might not be a married person, but uh, some other relationship between you and someone else. And if you need help with something and, you know, that that you don't have anyone around that can provide that help, uh, look up, uh, try to pick out someone else maybe um, in your life. It looks like it'll turn out well. This is the star symbol. It's a positive room. It says, I hope a wish or a long-term dream that you want to make into a reality. This is a lofty goal, and it's okay to dream big and have high expectations. Even when expectations are unreasonable, there may be a hidden manifestation of at least one version of the original goal. The star can represent a gift or a windfall as well as a guiding light. Okay, this represents a sigh, like a sickle. It's a negative one. Um, it's a warning that there is danger ahead. Slow down and be cautious about your progression forward on this path. You may need to cut out negativity and get rid of people and things that no longer serve you. There may be a parting of ways from what you once knew, such as a breakup or being fired from a job. Avoid risk, risky choices. Avoid risky choices and sabotaging a good thing. You may have an enemy nearby. Ooh, so look out for that. Um, next one is the harvest. It's a positive room. Uh, it represents the fruitation of a job well done. Abundant wealth, family happiness, or reaching the next level of development in a situation at hand. All your hard work will be mightily reward it but make no mistake that good things take time to develop don't rush ahead foolishly or slack off and last one is the moon and it means it's a negative symbol it means past cycles are repeating themselves pay attention to your intuition follow your intuition your dreams may have special messages for you during this time there may be much secrecy and mystery going on. Oh, might be uh, related to this enemy nearby thing. Um, the moon can be a motherly, nurturing influence that gives advice that simply must be followed. Someone might be advising you, a woman maybe, a woman figure, there's a hair, yeah. Um, something like that. Uh, she might be advising you it looks like it, you should follow that advice. All right, Sherry. Now a word from our sponsors. Okay, I got I got Lovey. I had to find her. This is Lovey. Now see how small she is compared to the other one. Look up, Lovey. Look up. There she is. I call her Lovey because she is the most gentle little kitten I've ever had. And, you know, she she licks me, you know, on the hand and stuff. She uh, is just so kind. She hardly ever scratches unless, you know, by accident. She doesn't mean to. But, uh, yeah, she was the runt of the, the litter as far as I can tell. And she just hasn't been growing. But she eats well enough. And that's okay because it's like she's a little miniature kitty, I think. She seems healthy enough. And she just loves to be held and petted and all like that. They both do, but this one in particular. But okay, I'm going to put Lovey down now. All right, Lovey, ready to go down? Okay. There you go. Thank you, Lovey. Next, we have Susan Parker. Susan P. I'll call her Susan P. She wants the rings, and then Tikoop wants the rings. So, Susan. Oh. 
Yeah, my pendulum. Okay, we have this one. And that's it standing up. So uh, let me uh, let me see if there's any more. There's one under here that you can't see. That one's got a little to it. That one's got some. And that one. So, Susan, you've got three here. Okay, first off, um, we will start with this one. Now, it warns you uh, about uh, you need uh, some sort of an escape, but it warns you to avoid temptation. Sorry, I needed a sip of coffee. Um, Watch being greedy. Avoid being greedy or doing anything in general that goes against your conscience. Okay. Next one up. It, uh, let's see, it's, uh, it refers to being weak-willed. So it's going to be a real fight here to uh, avoid these uh, temptations. You're going to have a period of weak will. Uh, maybe low energy. Um, possible illness, hopefully not the possible illness, or um, missed opportunities. Next up, uh, let's see, I see, boy, dissatisfaction, Ugh, misery, fear, uh, impatience, and, and you're being headstrong about something. You're being kind of stubborn about something set in your way. I don't know. Um, finally, um, you are being protected. So something or some someone's helping you. Uh, a, your guardian angel, your guide, uh, another person. Uh, Someone who's passed, they're looking over you. Perhaps someone is counseling you. Um, this is a period where not much is going to go on. You know, low energy and everything. It's just, it, it's going to be a slow period in your life. Um, there is hope here, though. There is hope. Um There's luck, but this luck comes with some sort of warning. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like uh, good news, but, you know, <laughs> good things are going to happen, but there's that big but in there with this, the big but <laughs> in, this, uh, in this reading. So, okay, Susan, there is, you know, um, sorry it's not better, but uh, there does seem to be some down, some things going on. It's just going to be one of those times, and uh, you have to avoid going to extremes and doing things against your conscience. You just have to kind of hang with there with luck. You'll get out of it, but even then, there's a warning. So, 
sorry, Susan, but uh, there you have it. Oh, I hate giving bad readings. Negative readings. Oh, I almost forgot these. Got to have them all in there. Shake them up for tea coop. Okay, T2. Let's see what you get. Okay. bit wow I feel it on that one gotta keep that one and finally nope so we have it on these three All right, to start off with, um, it looks like there's going to be an upset in your plans of some sort, um, perhaps delays, uh, maybe unexpected travel, or some sort of loss. It never says what, but it just says a loss. It warns you against being stubborn, um, not listening to advice, uh, being like foolhardy. Um, it warns against doing that. You know, if someone gives you advice, take it. Um, now, this talks about a sudden change. Uh, and this also kind of indicates some sort of unexpected travel, maybe. So, um, nothing planned, but may maybe uh, something is in the works here for something might come up where you'll need to go someplace and uh, not plan on it. And finally, um, boy, you kind of have blocked energy going on here. Um, some listlessness, you're uh, antsy, you know, you want to get into something and it's just like things aren't uh, going right. And there's questionable motives. I don't know if it's your motives or perhaps someone around you has questionable motives, but uh, watch out for that. You might want to reconsider what's motivating you and also watch out for people around you. All right, Tiku. Sorry, that wasn't better. Wait, I'm just not on the, having very good uh, readings with the runes today. I'm sorry. You all hear that? In case you haven't seen it before. This is my haunted doll. 
and uh, she only goes off when you uh, hit her. But I didn't touch her. She was up on the shelf, and she just went off on her own, which is spooky. So uh, there's something around, I think, right now. Oh. Get her back up there. Okay, I think she's going to stay there. Okay, boy. I need to light a little incense just for that. And I almost forgot Shrimp Shack's readings. We don't want to do that. Okay, there it goes. Okay, come on, good spirits. Positivity here. Good vibes. Okay, Shrimp Shack. Here's your rune reading. Hopefully it goes better. Shrimp Shack. Boy, and none of yours are coming up right offhand, so I'm going to have to see what ones are vibrating with uh, energy to uh, figure out your reading. Well, that's that's got some. Come on. Okay, that's still. That one doesn't want to stay still. Oh, that's definitely got push to it. I'll take that out of the way. So I don't confuse them. Come on. Nothing going on there. Nothing there. No, nothing there. And last one. No. Okay. Uh, so, Shrimp Shack. You only have three. Let's see if they're good ones. All right. You two are seemingly under the protective eye of uh, someone or like someone in your past that have passed away. Um, a, a guardian angel, uh, um, a guide, someone's watching over you. Um, I see counsel. Uh, someone's counseling you, maybe. Um, look for non-action. Nothing is going to be going on for a while. An inactivity um, and once again you two have uh, there is some luck possibly in there but it comes with a warning it comes with a big butt <laughs> oh boy geez I shouldn't be reading the runes today apparently I don't know what's up uh, I see disappointments loss uh, possible money problems, 
uh, maybe arguments. Okay, this is kind of a, the saving grace of it all, though. Uh, there's a rebirth of something. Um, something's going to uh, happen again. Uh, something you've started on in the past is going to come around and you'll be able to finish it maybe or something good is going to come up um you're going to uh you're going to make it through these difficult times you're going to persevere um there may be con uh there may be conflict okay you may be on a quest to uh seek something out to uh Find something, learn something, um, but I see success. So there. <laughs> ah, okay, that saved it. That room saved it all. Okay, success. Gonna have a rough time of it there at first, Shrimp Shack, but uh, it looks like it's gonna work out well in the end. All right. Woo, finally got a good one there. <laughs> okay, let's give you the the Wiccan rings. See what they have to say. Wow. Oh, Lordy, they, they practically all came up. So there's going to be a lot going on. Damn. <laughs> I have never seen them all come up like that. Wow. Okay, let's start with this one. This is the ring for waves. It's a negative ring. It means things are unclear. So a time of reflection is needed to see the situation for what it truly is. There may be a liar in your life or someone who is completely delusional. Great spiritual forces of mystery are at work. So you may, have, may feel pushed and pulled by these powerful energies. Misunderstandings become emotional. Great art can come from great angst. Spirits and ancestors may be influencing you. Oh, that pretty well goes with the, the rune reading I just gave you. Okay. Oh, my nose is just, sorry. Excuse me. Um... Next up, we have the Rune of Harvest. This is a positive rune. Uh, it re it uh, represents the uh, fruition excuse me, of a job well done. Uh, there is abundant wealth or family happiness or reaching the next level of development in the situation at hand. All your good work will be mightily rewarded. Make no mistake, though, that all good things take time to develop. Don't rush ahead foolishly or slack off. Okay, I can kind of see where the rune reading fits in with that. Next up, we have the Boyds. And the Boyds um, are positive rune. Uh, it represents communication, news, travel. Um, important documents may be signed. Uh, things are moving very fast, so you better hit the ground running. A bridge has been crossed. There may be a distant family or friend to whom a message must be communicated. After that, we have... The crossroads, it's a negative one. And crossroads always have a negativity to them for some reason. 
back in ancient times, you know, anyone like perceived as being a vampire or a thief were buried at a crossroad, maybe because it's a sign of the, the cross, the symbol of the cross. But people feared their evil spirits coming back to get them. So maybe it also was meant to confuse them and not knowing the way to get back to uh, where they once lived. Anyway, this means uh, the path is blocked by obstacles that can only become overcome by challenging direction, by changing direction, excuse me, by changing direction. Be flexible, but know that sacrifices must be made or else they will be taken by the random happenstance of the universe. Things may take longer than expected. Choose your battles wisely. This one is a symbol of romance. It's a negative one. Um, passion has turned into obsession. Sex and romance are afoot. Diverse people are brought together in one union, so squabbling is natural. People who once had diverging views are now attempting reconciliation, but there may be spite or jaded attitudes all around. There is a raw magnetic attraction that draws people together. Uh, next up is uh, the eye. The seeing eye. It's positive. And the, the, it's always been like a ward to ward off the evil eye, a symbol to ward off the evil eye. It's a positive rune. It uh, refers to the self. You must be independent and take time to know yourself, to know what you truly want and what you truly need. You are being watched, though. This rune has protective energy and wards off the evil eye. <laughs> you can see through any malicious plans and get them straightened out before they affect your situation too much. Next is the sigh. It's a negative rune. It's a warning that there is danger ahead. Slow down and be cautious about your progression toward the, forward on this path. You may need to cut out negativity and get rid of people and things that no longer serve you. There may be a parting of ways from what you once knew, such as a breakup or being fired from a job. Avoid risky choices, choices, choices <laughs> and sabotaging a good thing. You may have an enemy nearby. So if someone's watching you and it may be this enemy. Watch out. Okay, this is a sign of femininity of the woman. It's a negative sign. I don't know. I guess that's how things have always been treating people, you know, women all along negatively. I don't know. Not my fault. I'm just reading them. It represents the passive, receptive energies that are often categorized as feminine. It can also represent a literal woman pertaining to the situation. Or characteristics including nurturing, creativity, the beginning of something new, and a cleansing energy. Oops. This is the star. It represents positivity. It uh, could be a hope, a wish, uh, a long-term dream that you want to make into a reality, a lofty goal, and it's okay to dream big and have high expectations. Even when expectations are unreasonable, there may be a hidden manifestation of at least one version of the original goal. The star can represent a gift or a windfall as well as a guiding light. Hmm. Guiding light. The room said council. And I said someone is watching over you. So, it, uh, yeah, these readings really do kind of line up, and a lot. 
not completely, but a lot. Um, this is a positive one. It says, you can't do it alone, so form the right and lasting alliance. There may be a business partnership, a marriage, or other team formation. Seek out a partnership if none exist in the matter at hand. If you need help, look for it. Seek out someone else to help you. Okay, Shrimp Shack. Ooh, that was a long one. Okay. Next, I'm going to use I Ching or I Ching, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And I'll be doing the dice. Okay. Here we go. Shrimp Shack. For you, the chain, and uh, and with the e chain comes the scratching and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm shuffling them for you. Concentrating on shrimp shaft. powdered my cards a while back and I still got powder on them okay hold on just a sec okay first of all number 51 next we have Oh, number 50. What's the odds? And I've shuffled these through a number of times, so those shouldn't have come up together. This is 49. No, and it's not. Yeehaw. It's 62. And there's a... There's a wabbit. A waskily wabbit. <laughs> Sorry find a card reader that gives bad impressions <laughs> okay this one's called chin chin it means a uh, shock thunder upon thunder laughter follows a shock a great boon of thunder brings a shock of fright but the next boom brings laughter the sound is terrifying, but harmless. It serves to arouse the people to full wakefulness in which they can see the humor in their own fear. As the thunder rolls on, rites and ceremonies continue without interpretation. Thus, the wise person maintains inner calm that can weather any shock. Next, we have Ting which refers to a cauldron. Wood below fire, spir spiritual sustenance. Wood feeds fire and keeps it alive. Without this nourishment, the fire would soon die out. In the same way, people need spiritual sustenance to keep the fire of the human spirit alive. The cauldron is a holy vessel into which one places his or her life as an offering to the, the divine. Such devotion leads to supreme good fortune. Oh, in that room said luck. All good things pr proceed.
from this sacrifice. So just stir yourself in it all and it'll all work out. Next we have, let me try to pronounce this, Xiao Kuo. It means preponderance of the small. Thunder on the mountain, a call to awareness. Once again with the thunder. Great success comes not only through monumental acts, but also by attending to small matters with the same dedication and attention. Thunder itself cannot change the mountain, but its presence speaks to change to come of changes to come nonetheless. Attention paid to seemingly inconsequential things may prove vital to success. Observe right behavior at all times and offer courtesy to all beings, however lowly. Okay. So there you go, Shrimp Shack. That's your I Ching reading. Before I get to your dice, I want to try to burn this better. I guess I could just burn the smudge stick, but I like to keep that for uh, cleansing the house. I use that alone to cleanse the house. Sometimes I use this too. But uh, come on, now light. You can light anytime you want to. This incense has this coal in it that. Uh, Wow. All my lighters are going dead. They need refill fast. Okay. Come on, spirits. Let's keep this positivity going. Now, here's the dice. Whoa, they go everywhere. Okay. Now, you have... No, oh, it's upside down. There's... Uh, you have Saturn, which is an Earth sign, Earth. Over. And you have Gemini, which, which is an air sign. So Earth over air. It talks about having your ideas take root in the real world. The image is a young man at a desk writing with a quill. Air is superb at creating ideas and intellectual achievements, but not the best at translating them to the physical world. In this reading, Earth comes in and solidifies the idea into practical solutions. The most commonly big increase of Earth is, there, is where there was previously air, and the positive things linked to earth, wealth, security, and home, improved substantially according to previous laid plans. The formless air transform into the very real and solid earth, and while this can be a loud crash of rock down into empty space, oh, or the boom of thunder, maybe, it is definitely a move toward measurable events happening in the real world when there was once only ideas before. One thing to check that your ideas did not require great wildness or emotion because you're not getting those. 
the purely theoretical plans of air did not come, did not become fire's loud courage or the sun's success and glory, but instead moved to be earth's attributes of slower, sensible endurance and achievement. If the air that is being replaced needs an outcome which is less ordered, it could find itself trapped by the status quo instead. There is one very negative reading of this situation as well, which is that the earth coming in and replacing air means that your airy ideas will not come to pass at all. Only the, the sound, solid ideas will. A heavy quantity of earth suspended over empty air could mean a reverse of normality. Things might get kind of strange and uh, unpredictable. Or the demands of work or materialism making it difficult to think clearly. It could also mean that practical concerns such as money or the home actually deny you the chance to explore wilder ideas or stop you from having any time for study. Earth's links to money, work, food, and physical possessions usually mean that we can view the elements as success when it appears. We can see its presence as literal riches. Sometimes, however, it is the other aspect of Earth, its stillness, weight, and order, which dominates. This could mean that the plans made by air are to totally stopped by inertia, by paperwork, or by the demands of tradition. So while we should be happy when something goes from thought into being given solid form, in this case that form can be boringly solid. And if we want the opposite, then there is still work to be done to inject more fun into the situation. Ideas that are ready can be translated into solid achievements, but make sure that your physical needs are met so that you have time to keep inventing brilliant plans. All about not all about, but a lot of it has to do with uh, making plans and dreams and stuff into reality. But they've got to be uh, solidly founded, not just uh, silly, uh, I don't know. Must have good planning behind them. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me see. Is that all I have for you now? Um, we did rooms, uh, looking rooms. I gave you an oracle card. I did dice. I did the I Ching, I Ching. I Ching, I Ching, whatever you want to call it. And okay, I think that's all for now. Let's get to the tarot. And I still have a dream interpretation coming up for Megan. Okay, Megan, I'm trying to do your dream reading now. Um, let me go over that as best as I can to uh, try to condense it briefly and I'm leaving out names so I hope I get this right uh, she, you say it's a weird combination of people with water damage on ceilings and wanting to make over space but only in a superficial way people in dream you recognized was your sister-in-law a woman that did improv from the casino where you used to work and there was something about your daughter or some girls staying with girls out as they moved into middle school a baby boy that might have been a young nephew of hers scenes that didn't really fit together the last one was her close friend inherited five thousand 500,000 toward a house. The young boy, her nephew, was playing on a bed, but the outfit had to be something specific to wait for something specific to happen. But she doesn't remember. A YouTube friend of hers was narrating what had to be and how, or now, 
And then they were walking back down the street. Her close friend stopped to look at a large mini mansion type house. There was a parade of people from the dream across the road carrying boxes. Something significant about there have been 10 boxes of stuff inherited. Then a room with the improv person and other guests, mainly family, and everything was fine with the room. Then she asked if anyone has a paint marker that uh, WPD, WPD paint crew uses for grout lines to color over the water damage areas. She said something about that not being a good way to take care of any actual issues of the water damage. But then there are some comments or discussion about being what she could afford. It seems she was married to her mother, Megan's mother, who I should comment to, she, she did say, was happily married to her father for a long time. So that type of uh, relationship was kind of confusing to her, and um, I couldn't find anything on that. But let me get back into the dream. The end result of that is she's wanting someone to paint, to lend their time and such, to color in all the water damage with a paint marker. And then the scene pans down to the opposite corner to the right, and her sister-in-law is folding baby clothes. And the room becomes gray, other than the water damage. And one or maybe two of the baby boys are playing on a bed littered with stuff, and at least one box of clothes to the left. Someone interacting with the baby about wearing the right clothes to wait on something to happen not remembering what it was, though, remember back to close friend, but then the alarm went off. Okay, and Megan, let me tell you, I, I appreciate the detail. You gave a lot of good detail in there, and I interpret it. I use this book to help me. Uh, look how many pages I marked off out of this book to... Uh, the things that all the details you gave me so uh let me see where do i begin all right okay you talk about a baby boy so uh a lot of this depends on details that i don't have from you so i'll just read it all off and you can figure it out it says if the baby was pretty you will be fortunate through help of friends. However, if the baby was ugly or in any way displeasing to you, look out for treachery in someone you are inclined to trust. Helpless or sick babies are generally a warning of difficulties ahead, so be cautious in your business and or love affairs. A walking baby indicates sudden independence, and if you dreamed of many babies, great satisfaction and happiness are coming your way. Okay, another detail mentioned is the boxes. Okay, it says you can expect an upset in your plans if your dream featured an empty box, but there's something in the box you can overcome your obstacles. And it also depends on the nature of the contents. You said one held clothes. Okay, and it says uh, the portent of a clothes of a dream concerning clothes varies greatly within the details. In a dream of contrary with respect to quantity, as the more clothes you had in your dream, the more urgent is the warning to prepare for difficulties ahead. However, if you were only uh, if there are a few clothes, money, luck is on the way. On the other hand, the act of putting on clothes uh, is a dream signifies success ahead, uh, whereas undressing is a forecast of reverses. Shabby or soiled clothes are a warning against business dealings with 
or through friends. Tight or uncomfortable or back to front clothes suggest a need to protect your reputation by cooling down your sexual activities. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, the other said you might, the boxes might have had inheritances in them. And let's see, if that was the case, inheritances refers to, uh, well, it says receiving one in a dream is usually a straightforward prediction of a legacy to come. Let's see, your friend was looking at a mansion to buy. And let me find it. I have it marked, I know. Mansions is a dream of contrary. If the mansion was luxuriously finished, be prepared to accept some changes that will not be to your liking. However, if it was empty or in bad condition, you can expect the change to be for the better, although it might not at first appear that way. Okay, now the, the paint. Um, about painting the ceiling. Um, actually, I didn't look at paint itself. Uh, let me look at paint real quick. Okay, well, it says to dream of a house being painted indicates information which you have been, which has been kept from you, will be soon forthcoming. If you dreamed of painting anything, it suggests that you are contemplating some activity which you would prefer to keep secret. Think it over well before you commit yourself. Uh, Okay, and let's see, you were painting it white. Well, you weren't, but the people were. They wanted the marker to paint it white. And let's see, colors. Um, white is a certain promise of success in all that concerns you. Okay, but then you said the room turns gray, and gray indicates a period of marking time, which I'm not sure what that means, marking time. And maybe that was a time period that was, especially it's associated with your nephew and your sister-in-law, maybe something about that time period was notable to you somehow, or, you know, Noteworthy to you, and it was a special time in your life, perhaps. Not sure about that one. Okay. Onward. We have. Okay, you said there was a woman doing improv there. Okay, and I looked up comedy then. A sudden development of events which will advance your interests can be expected following a dream involving comic humor and or fun but the other details of the dream should be considered for its full potent and it uh, involves the laughter the theater any colors or costumes etc you didn't give me any of those details so uh let's just go with the first part of that okay um Next, what did I have? Uh, okay, you talk about your best friends, your best friend. Any demonstration of true friendship in a dream is a straightforward predict prediction of happy social life with good companions. Dreaming of uh, Distant friends is generally a forerunner of unexpected news, good or sad, depending on whether or not they were in trouble in your dream. That'd probably be good news in your case, because he had won the lottery.
Okay, and then Fortune, he had won, you said $500,000. A dream of contrary in that although it signifies ultimate success, the greater the dreamed inheritance or gain, the more limited will be the reality. So, uh, money's not in your future, it appears. Or maybe money issues are a problem. Inheritance. You said you dreamed about, uh, I don't know if I already said this. I'm sorry, that phone call really threw me. Uh, receiving one in a dream is usually a straightforward prediction of a legacy to come. That's good news for you. Very good news. Okay. Getting down here. You said you dreamed of your mom. Nope. Hold on a sec. Okay. You said you dreamed of your mom. Okay. It says... Mothers symbolize love, and you will have to figure out the meaning of your dream by correlating the action with your parental attitude and other elements of the dream. But as a general guide, if the parent you dreamed of is dead uh, and she spoke to you, you can expect to hear important news. Otherwise, a dream of your mother signifies happiness and love or personal affairs. Um... To dream of being a parent uh, augurs a surprising turn of events concerning a cause you believe to be lost. A dream of relatives, apart from the immediate family, are an, an omen of help when needed. And uh, it says correlated to the events in the dream. So at that point of the dream, they were painting. So maybe uh, you might get help painting, possibly. That's just a shot in the dark. Um, but let's see. Uh, let's see. And the sister-in-law. Uh, the meaning varies. Uh but uh, it impends uh, domestic disagreements. If you dreamed of unity between you and your sister-in-law in any way, um, it's an indication of emotional stability. Um, almost done. Uh, you said about stain on the ceiling that they were trying to cover up. Stains symbolize worries. And in order to interpret your dream, you must correlate which kind that they were. Which they were water. And I looked up water. And the water means... Okay, well, it was a stain. So obviously it was... Uh, kind of like dirty water and that signifies difficulties so you must be worried about difficulties coming up all right and I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, I hope some of that made sense to you, Megan. I know that was a lot to take in, and some of it is probably contradictory. Um, but like with dreams, you know, dreams can be contradictory. But uh, there you have it. All right. So, now to continue this, uh, I'm going to be switching over to my camera to do the tarot readings. So, uh, stay tuned. The first one up I have is Texas. 
Let's see what you have, Texas. Over here. Okay. Alright, Texas, you're uh, dreaming big, daydreaming, um, fantasizing, even maybe, um, about uh, material things, money, maybe, something along those lines. Um, uh, less spiritual, um, not negative in any way, but just, that's how it is, um, something's happened in the past, something kind of bad, uh, you, you suffered, um, not, not extremely bad, but, uh, some misfortune has happened in the past, and it, it caused you, uh, things weren't happy, you weren't living uh, happy, happily during that time period. Um, once again, it wasn't really uh, bad necessarily. It was just you weren't satisfied. Let's put it that way. You weren't satisfied. Uh, finances, it seems, aren't what you'd like them to be. Um, and maybe somehow there's a woman involved in this. Um, possibly a, a lighter haired woman, just possibly, I can't tell for sure, but uh, it probably will be a woman. And uh, she's uh, kind of a more of a domestic person, uh, something associated with the home, uh, possibly a, a, a mother figure or someone close to you, a female, uh, most likely within your family, but not necessarily. Okay, I see coming up, uh, you're going to be living uh, quite satisfied. Uh, things are apparently going to turn around a bit for you and you're going to be content now uh, something's going to make you uh, it's going to make you kind of uh, daydream about something else uh, maybe planning out something uh, not acting on it yet just kind of thinking about it and uh, making plans and contemplating your your opportunities, your choices. Um, there's going to be a reason to celebrate, too, coming up. And it might be associated with this. Something, uh, looks like something good's going to happen. But you're still going to feel, uh, maybe from this card, you're going to feel a little guarded, up, up in arms, kind of like, um, worried about uh, moving ahead, you're, you're a little uh, gun-shy about something, if that makes sense, and that's, that's how it ends. Uh, hope that made some sense for you, Texas.
Okay. Next we have Tess. And she's new to our channel. So let's give her a big round of applause. You'll see, Tess, that I'm a little offbeat and uh, possibly even a little strange. <laughs> but I'm happy. Oh, I dropped two. So, these jumped out at me. So there's two will be there and uh, oops. Get this way. all right Okay. For some reason, um, you're not focusing properly. I'm not sure uh, exactly uh, what it is. Uh, maybe uh, you're not noticing things you should notice or um, doing things you should be doing, you're kind of uh, just going along and uh, not uh, really paying attention. Uh, like this guy here, he's just walking along, not paying attention, and he's uh, getting ready to walk off the cliff, you know, that's, that's, you know, kind of how things are going. Um, I wish I could pinpoint exactly what it is you're uh, being uh, foolish about or not thinking about properly, uh, not considering, uh, not acting upon, possibly, anything like that. Now, someone's going to bring you news or tell you something possibly related to what you're missing out on. And it's going to affect you uh, emotionally um, not in a bad way, though. Uh, it looks like you, you might appreciate someone pointing it out to you because you haven't noticed it yet, or you were unaware of, of it, whatever that may be. I hope this is making sense. Okay, I see uh, some sort of confrontation in the past. some sort of fight, argument. Um, it may, and I'm not saying this for sure, but the card there uh, would be a woman who has darker hair, um, maybe like a brunette or so, to brunette to black haired, possibly. If I had to say, you know, I'd take a good guess, I would say that, but not necessarily. It could be a fight with somebody else very, very well, you know. Whatever the outcome, it doesn't look like you're going to be very happy, or you, were, you weren't very happy, I'm sorry. Um, this fight is in the past, and uh, you walked away kind of upset. Um, 
and something else that it, it might be affecting something you were working on possibly this might be affecting it or it just might be a separate thing that it's bringing up here but uh, something you've been working on uh, isn't working out um, it's just not going how you planned uh, it just possibly could mean uh, like a job thing uh, it's uh, like uh, maybe problems at your job or something like that uh, yet to come issues or something you've been working on something you've been trying to do or to make for a while plans maybe they're just not working out good news is coming though and it's coming about uh, a domestic issue um, it involves the house the family something along those lines something that ties in with the home and you know your personal lives good news there and also I see coming a victory of some sort news of a victory and that's really gonna lift your spirits all this good news coming your way it's it's gonna really kind of pick you up a little bit um, possibly even making you uh, more spiritual uh, in nature all right okay uh, next up is the King of Cups. Now, uh, this is a, kind of an emotional issue that's going to bother you. Uh, poss possibly involving a man. It's kind of a, an upsetting thing for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, a man with uh, sandy uh, brunette, maybe hair just maybe like I said uh, the descriptions of these people is just a possibility based on the cards but they're not always correct um, but anyway uh, yeah uh, something's gonna bother you and It's going to uh, set something in motion. You've been daydreaming, making plans about something, uh, looking at your options, weighing the odds of, uh, of what you're uh, going to do, where you're going to go, uh, something along those lines. Um, it's going to, you're going to take action. You're going to actually go forward and act upon it. All right, Tess, I hope that made uh, some sense to you. All right. And the last one is Shrimp Shack. Once again, Shrimp Shack, congratulations. I hope these readings are making sense to you. In some way or another. Oops. There we go. Shrimp Shack. Uh, you've received or soon will receive 
some news or some gift maybe or something is going to happen to upset you, affect you emotionally. Um, and it might involve this feller, um, possibly a relative, very, very, very likely a relative. Um, but he's going to have like blonde hair to light brown hair, blondish. Uh, maybe. Once again, maybe. It's not for sure. Anytime I give a hair color or something on here, it, uh, sometimes it's that color of that person. A good, good chance it is, but not necessarily. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, you've weighed the odds on something. You had to make a decision, a judgment call, and you've, you've done that in the past. That's over. And whatever your decision was, it looks like you were a little bit regretful afterwards. Um, you weren't quite happy with the outcome. And I, I just see some regret here. Um, some news coming your way, uh, something to do with money. Uh, it's going to be negative, it's going to be bad news uh, about money. Um, or maybe this is already happening. Uh, money troubles, something along those lines. Or maybe someone will try to uh, take or borrow money off of you. Maybe that you uh, really can't afford to give. Okay, now uh, here in uh, the more recent, well, in the not too long future, um, things are going to be slow. Your life's going to really kind of go along pretty slowly. Um, events, uh, you might get a little bit uh, angsty. Um, Stir crazy, maybe. Um, and once again, here's the bad news coming again. Huh. And you're going to feel betrayed. Something's going to happen where you feel like uh, you've been uh, stabbed in the back. Won't be a major thing. It won't uh, affect you ex too extremely. Um, so perhaps this news, if this ties in, this news um, won't be all that bad, but it, it's going to upset you a little bit, at least. Um, it's probably something you'll be able to get over maybe you'll consider the source or whatever and just brush it off I don't know um, now I see uh, um, possibly money uh, might be an issue with you and this you know is still kind of the same thing you might still be hurting for money coming up or uh, you might have to like focus more on material items, so, you know, a little bit. Take your focus so much off the spiritual and kind of place it on the material. And the good news is that seems to uh, want to straighten things out, at least at the home. And if I'm right, then this does concern the home. Good news is coming. Uh, and also, uh, it's a good time coming up for uh, following your intuition. Your intuition is going to be sharp. Uh, you know, follow, follow your intuition. All right, Shrimp Shack.
So, now, to end this session, I hate how that sounds, it sounds a little flat. This one sounds better. A little bit. So, blessings to you all. Peace. And remember, believe. Bye-bye.